Hello and welcome to Northwoods Renaissance. On a recent particularly dangerous hunting expedition, my 1911 began to malfunction, placing me in an awkward situation. I'd like to show footage of this event and then demonstrate to you how to detail strip a 1911 slide so that you might avoid a similar situation. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Had things transpired only slightly differently, this ferocious fruit would have gotten the upper hand, and I would find myself on the table, having been spit-roasted, doing a full turn over an open flame every half hour with a stick up my ass and an apple in my mouth. So that was a harrowing situation, and even the resolution was, uh, frankly, unsatisfying. So in order to diagnose what might be the problem in here, we're going to tear down our slide. And uh, while I'm struggling with that, I've got a... Squadron 1 challenge coin from Pearl Harbor and then the three quarters that we shot with the Glock 17 last week. So, no magazine in the magazine well. Chamber is clear. And while this is pointing at you, I assure you it is not pointing at me. Okay. Remove the plunger. Take the slide back to the takedown notch. Push out the slide stop from the other side. Set that aside. And then, if this thing's feeling cooperative, we'll ride, ooh, there we go, ride the slide forward. Set this aside for now. We can just pull the, uh, Recoil spring and guide rod out backwards. And I recently swapped out the recoil spring and the yeah, only packet that Palmetto had that was for a full size had the buffer. So I tried that out. No discernible difference, although that's not like I shoot enough 45 to know. So we got to put our bushing back to the other side and pull that out. We'll set that there. And then with our Lug forward, pull the barrel right at the front. Looking good. So that leaves us with the slide. And I was looking at this thing. I didn't dare touch it. You know, is there a roll pin in there? What's going on? How complicated is this going to be? Well, frankly, not too bad. So I've got this, I think it's a 12 and one magnetic screwdriver that my mother-in-law gave me in my Christmas stocking. And this thing has been invaluable. Thanks, Mom. So the whole thing is held together with this plate back here. And that holds the firing pin and spring in, and then once we get that out, we can get the extractor out, which is, turns out it's just held in place by uh, tension. So in order to get this plate off, you can depress the firing pin, and you can use your screwdriver to push it down. And this is under spring tension, so keep a finger on there so you don't put your eye out. Or Alfie. There's that. There's our firing pin and our spring. Now, based on the research I did, I believe my extractor is the problem here. And that is this round affair here. And then uh, you can just barely make it out right in there. So, in order to get that out, there's a cutout in the extractor, and you just wedge your screwdriver in here. Let's see if we can get a good view for you. So there's that cutout in the back. And that's held in place by the plate as well, so it doesn't come shooting out. And then you just pry it out. So there you have it. When I took this thing out, it was uh, pretty filthy in there in the extractor claw. And I can see, if you look closely, you can see a little bit of damage in there. And this thing's old, and who knows how worn it is, and probably out of tune. So I'm going to take this uh, next time I go home on vacation to Tom Gilbert, Gilbert Gun Exchange, Elk Mound, Wisconsin. Uh, the most trustworthy gun dealer that I've ever met. 
and we'll let him take a crack at tuning this thing. And then, uh, let's see, I got a little bit of lube in there. I found that a boar snake for uh, 22 caliber goes right through that channel for the extractor and cleans it out perfectly. So I'm going to take a brief break, have a uh, sip of uh, black coffee and get my metal state in uh, proper space. What I will do is roll in for you five shots of this pistol functioning the way it was intended, and then we'll come back and throw this thing back together. So if everything went according to my plan, your uh, interest is returned to this because we showed you some gunfire, and I'm properly fortified with some black coffee, as was my plan. So what we're going to do is we're going to reassemble this bad boy, and it's not too difficult. We've got our extractor here. This notch is going to go in the same notch that that uh, firing pin retention plate goes through right there. So we're just going to have to line that up. And uh, I got great news. If we screw it up, it just goes in. You can push it in with your fingers. If we screw it up, this back plate's going to line it right up for us when we push it in. So, there you go. That put it in place. And if it doesn't fall out by itself, it nearly will. Give it a little push with the screwdriver. There's that. So we'll take our firing pin and spring, put them together, and pop them down into the channel. plate started. Push down on that. And that ends the detail strip of the slide. So let's throw it back together the rest of the way. We'll get the, uh, I guess, 12-in-1 screwdriver. Get that out of here. All right. Here goes. Barrel in the front. Pop our bushing in there. That's fine for now. Put our guide rod and recoil spring in with the uh, horseshoe shape towards the barrel. Move our lug forward and slide it onto the rails in this configuration. And you can see the barrel lug lining up through that hole right there. And you may have to move the barrel around a little bit to get it to line up, but there you go. Drop our slide release in there. Move this notch back up so it's right above the slide release, and then line up, push it in past the detent, straight down, back into battery, plunger, hope you're all wearing safety glasses, and the bushing, back over. All right. Trigger works, grip safety works. There you go. How to disassemble, reassemble, and detail strip a slide on a 1911. That ought to get Alyssa's attention.